I just started the third week of Project 50 and well... <laughs> you who haven't heard about Project 50 or the 50 day challenge, let me introduce you to a YouTuber who's not only completed the challenge, but who's also currently doing a refresh of the challenge on her channel. I've asked Ireland to break down Project 50 and the 50 day challenge and just explain briefly what it entails. My name is Ireland, also known as Smiling Ireland. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what the 50 day challenge is. The 50 day challenge or Project 50 originated as more of like a fitness and like wellness challenge. It popped off on the internet and became very trendy a couple years ago, but I can't figure out who the original creator is. So if someone knows, I would love to know, but a ton of people have covered it and it seems to still be pretty popular a couple years later. Basically the challenge is you have to follow seven rules for 50 days straight and those rules are one wake up before 8 a.m every day and it has to also include having six hours of sleep two do your morning routine every single morning and the rule around that is your morning routine must consist of one hour of whatever your morning routine is with no distractions so that means no phone no email no social media none of that three one hour of exercise every single day and that could mean, you know, just getting moving or going full on going to the gym. Four, read 10 pages a day. Five, dedicate one hour to learning a new skill. Six is focusing on a healthy diet. And then seven is to track your progress at the end of every single day. And then some versions of the challenge also require that if you miss a single task on any day, you have to start over. You have to start the whole 50 days over again. You could be on day 49 and if you miss, waking up early, you have to start all over again. Now that's only some versions of the challenge. It's also very similar to the 75 hard challenge, which is another similar self-improvement challenge. And the idea behind this challenge is basically if you follow all of these rules for 50 days, by the end of it, you'll be a totally different person, which sounds amazing, right? However, as I looked at it, I realized that a lot of the creators who were following this and putting out content around it really gave off a lot of this like toxic perfectionism and that like bro alpha of the pack kind of culture, which like I'm just not about. So I wanted to take more of like what was at the core of the challenge and modify it to work for me. I also wanted to finish this challenge having set up a daily routine that would really set me up for success every single day and was also sustainable. Not something that I would only ever do for 50 days and that's it. So I did my own version of the 50 day challenge where I set myself seven healthy habits that I followed for 50 days and I did each of the habits as much as I could with allowing myself the grace to not be perfect. So there were some days where I didn't always hit all of the tasks, but the goal is consistency. Being consistent and doing as many of them as often as you can, but also recognizing that life happens. Now, keeping to that core of the challenge, I made sure that some of my habits addressed physical fitness, a healthy diet, mindfulness, and mental health. And that right there is the real beauty of the 50 day challenge because you can take it and sculpt it to work for you, whatever your goals are. Set those healthy habits and those tasks to be whatever it is that you are trying to improve upon in your life. And it's okay to reject perfectionism. I am now halfway through my second round of doing this 50 day challenge and I can say that it has massively benefited me. At this point, it really has become more of that daily routine rather than an actual challenge. And I can see massive improvements in my physical and mental well-being that have just rippled out through all the other elements of my life. I respect Island's approach to this challenge and I've channeled her thinking with regards to how I've gone about things. Here's how I'm tracking so far. I'm a mom, so I'm up before 8 most mornings. 
I don't use social media except for YouTube, but that's my job. So that was kind of easy for me to leave out of my morning routine. And then my work emails don't come to my phone and I don't like to read emails at night. Someone once told me that it's not wise to deliver news at night time. I don't know about you, but emails can really mess with my mind, especially if they're these exciting opportunities, then I often struggle to go to sleep or to think about anything else. So I create time to check them out, usually when I'm in my work zone. My one hour of exercise is a rule that I combined with the rule of learning something new. But like I mentioned, I'm learning something new while I exercise. Within the first week, I managed to achieve a goal that I had classified somewhat impossible to achieve in my 30s. What's crazy is I've been trying to get different angles to make sure that the shot looks amazing for the video and I've been able to do it three times now just I'm blown away like I I can't believe I can do it for long. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see my journey of how I managed to go from zero to one pull up. And because I think I'm challenging myself hugely in this area, I give myself two days out of the week to let my body and my mind rest. Now, the reading thing has been difficult for me to maintain as a mom, but this challenge has been the push I needed to get back into reading. I generally read first thing in the mornings when I'm having my quiet time, and then I like to clear some time just before bed to do some more reading. And currently, I'm rereading one of my favorite books of all time outliers so good I should acknowledge that I haven't read every evening but on the nights that I do read I read more than 10 pages so it evens out so I think now with a healthy diet part of this challenge I'm having a lot of fun I'm not gonna prescribe what I deem to be healthy I'm just gonna be speaking from my experience here I try to have one bland ish meal a day this is to remind myself of how blessed I am to have the ability to choose scrumptious flavors and textures I'm really grateful for the blandish meals and I say blandish because I use salt and honey <laughs> but as a foodie I usually place far more effort in my dishes. Anyway that's one meal and then the other meal is where I try to incorporate the rainbow. I just want to see colors. For dinner and evening snacks I like to unwind and eat what the family is eating. For a majority of the day I'm on track but it's nice to forget about rules when you're hanging with family. And then I don't document my day in the evenings. I came across Julia Cameron's morning pages challenge last year and that's working out really well for me. I'll link the video where I break down what the activity entails but I start most mornings with writing and I just love that. Also, my motivation is super low in the evenings, so having the goal of reading being the only rule that I'm aiming to stick to helps me ease into the activity, as opposed to feeling like I still have a lot on my plate. Anyway, that's how things are going for me so far. If I was aiming for perfection, I would have had to start this challenge over a few times already. But like Eileen, I'm aiming for consistency, so I'm proud of myself and what I've managed to achieve so far. It's sustainable and I feel encouraged to keep going. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future. And then a huge thank you to Eileen for taking out the time to share her insights and encouragement around this challenge. Check out her channel if you want to see her experience from having completed the challenge once and her updates as she goes about doing the challenge a second time and then if you're already doing this challenge let me know how it's going <laughs> guys thank you for spending your time with me i hope you have a wonderful day i'll see you in one of my next videos take care bye